we're starting off today's episode with a treasure hunt. All right, sounds exciting. Who doesn't love a treasure hunt? Mm -hmm. So as part of Art Drop Day, Denver artists hide a piece of art somewhere, give clues on social media so people can find them. The event is hosted by Denver Arts and Venues and features everything from sculpture to jewelry and paintings and so much more. Alexis Kokoan takes a closer look at how one organization dropped art to raise awareness for their mission. Imagine this, you're walking down the street on your way to work or the store, or maybe just out for a stroll. Well, I live in Arvada and I come downtown to get my hair uh, done. You see a piece of art. It seems a little out of place. Thinking, what is it just doing? I'm gonna get dirty and rained on. But then you see that there's a note attached. This lets them know that it's theirs to keep. I really feel like I hit the lotto. It's all part of World Art Drop Day, the first Tuesday in September. I kind of described it to people as like a scavenger hunt, but basically art is hidden throughout the city. Some organizations will post clues and you can go get a free piece of art. And as soon as they find it, we encourage them to take a selfie and post that they found it and where they found it, so. We are on Facebook and we are uploading our clue and our photo so that someone knows where to go find the art. And then we're gonna tag Denver Arts and Venues Art Drop. Project Heartwork is just one of many organizations that participate. Project Heartwork is an international network of artists and supporters. We're working together to try and raise awareness for human trafficking. And we did a little more digging into the topic of human trafficking and found out how prevalent it is here in Denver. So we thought we would use art to try and start conversations about human trafficking with different communities who may be underinformed. They drop the art to help raise awareness for their mission hoping the finders will visit their website included on the note. I think my art particularly goes with this theme because I paint very expressionist, which has a lot of freedom with it. Human trafficking is a form of slavery and being able to paint is the ultimate freedom. Thinking about the fact that human trafficking is still a very real and very serious problem even here in Colorado. I think it's pretty urgent to get people thinking about it and do something about it. Come and get it. <laughs> Art Drop Day was started in Utah with the goal of connecting strangers through creativity and giving. It's a part of the community. It gets people excited about art. And art is, should be shared. And so this is the, the ultimate. It's just kind of exciting that someone might just be walking down their normal route and see something cool sticking out and just make their day that much better. It's a good platform for our artists to get out and share their art with the world as well. So we figure it's win-win for everybody. Especially for those lucky enough to pick up what was dropped. At first I was like, this can't be real. And then I thought to myself, wow, what a lucky day. I feel like my whole day is just gonna go brilliantly. So very excited. For Arts District, I'm Alexis Kikoen. Whoa, okay, so during Art Job Day, 500 pieces of art were hidden and found in Denver. Would you ever hide one of your paintings? I mean, it would have to be like one of your much smaller works. You know, I might. it would be a really interesting challenge to do. I kind of wonder where I'd even put it, mm -hmm. what kind of clues I would give. Yeah. But I should give it a whirl. You Maybe you could help me out. Sure. You can find out more about Art Drop Day on Denver Arts and Venues website.